it's a challenge to figure out how we can talk about politics without limiting the ability of people to, to speak what's important to them. Florida Atlantic University professor Kevin Wagner says the two assassination attempts on former President Donald Trump shows there is certainly a significant amount of hostility inside our political system. I think it has led to a conversation about how we talk about politics and ultimately um, how we should talk about the opposition as being opposed to, as opposed to, you know, using, you know, more vitriolic language. Wagner says part of the challenge is to damper down the rhetoric. If you go back far enough, you know, we just had, you know, very limited sources of, uh, of, of political news, whether it was television or newspapers. The people speaking was a limited number of people speaking. Today, of course, with the social media platforms, so many Americans are participating in the process. That's not a bad thing, right, to have people participating, but it has course in the discourse. President Gerald Ford comes to mind when it comes to two assassination attempts in a matter of weeks. The first attempt on Ford's life was September 5th, 1975 as he walked the grounds of the California State Capitol with Secret Service when he's approached by Lynette Squeaky Fromm. She attempted to shoot him, but the gun never went off. Just 17 days later, September 22nd, Sarah Jane Moore attempts to assassinate the 38th president as he's walking out of a hotel in San Francisco. I spoke with retired University of South Florida professor and historian Gary Mormino. Jerry Ford would be a perfect example of someone who was a moderate Republican who could get along and did get along with Democrats and Republicans, uh, those figures are largely vanished in, in American history. I asked Moreno about the ramifications of the two recent assassination attempts. You wonder what the implications would be for future candidates. I mean, this is truly horrifying uh, and, and uh, not a good sign for democracy. Wagner says he's not sure there's an easy solution to any of this. Maybe as Americans, we need to take some responsibility for how we talk about politics and, and try and set a good example for the people around us. In Palm Beach County, Todd Wilson, WPTV News.